we're hoping to stage a spring flowering bulb competition for plants grown in containers next spring and I thought it'd be worth just going quickly through one or two tips on what you might do. You need quite a sizeable container to get the most colourful display and of course it needs drainage holes in the base when you're growing through the winter. If you're using a, a, a very heavy ornamental pot like this then it's probably better to plant in an inner liner so that if that freezes and swells it doesn't do any damage and of course just potted or dropped into the attractive container it's fine. There'll be a bit of insulation there too, air between the outer container and the inner one. Here I'm just using um, a pretty tough plastic container and I need to put a lot of compost in here to, to begin with uh, and I'm going to plant some tulips and so it will need to be about two thirds filled with some really good potting compost like that and when it comes to uh, tulips well most bulbs the bigger the better this is a, an offer we did in the sun of red impressions. It really is a large Darwin uh, hybrid uh, flowering tulip that produces a good sized bulb. And you notice there's a flat side and a rounded side and you plant that flat side against the container like that. Because then the flower box, the flower stem actually comes up on that flat side and we'll get the biggest show of flowers rather than having them all grouped together in the centre. So we'll lock those in like that all the way round. And then one or two will go in the middle. Now normally when we're bedding out we put the uh, wallflowers, the forget-me-nots, the bellis, all of those kinds of things in first and then plant the bulbs so that we don't damage the bulbs with a trowel as we're uh, planting the biennials. But in this case I'm going to be planting with my hand and so I shouldn't damage the bulbs in any way. And I could of course plant two layers of bulbs, put the tulips down much deeper and another layer of bulbs on the top. But here I'm going for a mass display of that scarlet tulip. I'm going to put some cloth of gold wallflowers in amongst them. Uh, this is the way that they're quite often sold these days and it's a matter of breaking them open just like that and splitting them up. They, decide, they divide quite easily with a really good show of root. There we are. And I would think about five or six. You see I'm planting with my hands very carefully. There's no chance of damaging the bulbs beneath. Now with wallflowers like this, if they're a bit tall and stretchy, I could just take the tip out to make, to make them branch. Because they have plenty of time to really spread out. Good watering and they make a really good show. There are other things that I could use as well as wallflowers. For example, the uh, pansy, particularly the Cool Wave series that are grown for uh, hanging baskets and window boxes, they spread out and drop down. And putting those in a container with perhaps a, a really bright narcissus in amongst them would make a fantastic show.